don't use a weapon as a as a tool because the weapon when you use that tool that tool can destroy a whole lot more than just one person new at 11 a mother sharing only with fox 8 her grief about losing her son nathaniel burt he was headed to work when he walked out of his kernersville apartment thursday morning and lost his life to gun violence his family tells us he was an innocent bystander just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 News at 11. I'm Cassie Fambro. Annette Bates describes Nathaniel as a loving person and a family man. His four kids were his world. These are pictures she shared with us of the man who was trying to take care of his family. Annette said her world turned upside down when she received the call that he was killed. Here's what his mother and younger brother Delone said they will miss most about Nathaniel. His big pearly white smile, um, you know, um, he'll call me and, you know, he'll just say something funny or crazy. So there's you no know, more of the phone calls, you know, I can't wrap my arms around him, you know, or anything. So, and I'm just going to miss him because he was my firstborn. I'm going to miss his, his big old hugs. Um, he always he was a, a very uh, a hugger. Uh, I'm going to miss having our conversations on the phone about what we cook. The man charged in Nathaniel's death is Thomas Gilly, 22 years old. Police say Gilly also shot and killed one other person and injured his mother at the Hawthorne at the Meadows apartment complex off Old Salem Road in Kernersville. He's charged with two counts of murder and two counts of attempted murder. Gilly was in Forsyth County today where he received no bond. He's expected back in court on July 20th. Greensboro police named Thomas a suspect in the death of his father, Douglas Lane Gilly Jr. on Bayberry Lane. They have not been, there have not been any charges filed against him yet.